What's up, YouTube gamers? Young Soul back with another video. And Xbox fanboys claim they don't like to talk about sales, but we all know they do. Let, let me give you let me give you an example. This recent example um, that uh, Xbox is going to be announcing five new bundles starting uh, September 28th through October 2nd, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, five days, five bundles. Um, let's let's just be honest here. If if you're an Xbox owner, Xbox One owner, and you're going to brag about these console bundles, you're doing so because you believe it's going to help the sales this holiday. That is a, So it's just another way of, of making the sales argument, okay? That's why you're bragging about these bundles. The same thing PlayStation fanboys do too. But at least on the PlayStation side, they admit, they will readily admit they, that they talk about sales. Xbox fanboys, on the other hand, want to pretend talking about sales is bad, but then they look for small ways here and there to try to brag about sales. While, while at the, again, at the same time, claiming that it's bad when you talk about sales. There's other examples of this. We know whenever Xbox wins NPD, they like to act like it's it's mind share shifting and, and the tide is turning toward Xbox and people are changing their minds about it. Every time they win, they always make that state those statements. Every single time time okay but somehow when playstation wins nobody cares nobody cares who cares i mean we'll see that coming up on this next npd um but we'll watch we'll see it um either way like i said i'm not giving my prediction yet but we'll see it um and this is just another example the console bundles make no mistake if you're an, the xbox one owners if you run into an xbox one owner who wants to, who starts bragging about these new bundles whatever they may be um, you ju just ask them, do you have an Xbox One? Most of them will say yes. And then you ask them, so what difference does it make if a bundle's coming out to you? What difference does it make to you? You already own the console. You're already playing the games. What difference does it make to you? We all, we all know it doesn't make a bit of difference to them other than their belief that these bundles will help win them the holiday by when i mean win npds you know september october november december um i have my thoughts on which one's gonna which co console's gonna win which months and i'll probably do another video on that that's not the case that's not for this video but it's because they think it's gonna help them win that's the reason why they're going to brag about that but again like i said any xbox fanboy you run into who says they already own an Xbox One, ask them why it matters to them what what the bundles are. Well, I mean, why 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 are they bragging about bundles coming out if they if they already own the console? I mean, again, the same thing happens on the PlayStation side, but at least PlayStation guys acknowledge that they're talking about excuse me, acknowledge that they're talking about sales. They acknowledge it. So, you know what I'm saying? Whereas Xbox fanboys condemn sales talk how dare you talk about sales but excuse me while i try to brag about these bundle these bundles winning us the holiday season okay you know what i mean so it's like they want both sides that's basically what i'm what i'm saying they want to they want playstation fanboys to shut up about sales by trying to claim that sales talk is is bad condemning sales talk but then when they see an advantage or they see a perceived advantage for sales on Xbox, they don't mind talking it up. Okay, so I'm, one more time, you, if you run into an Xbox fanboy who at, who's bragging about these bundles, or the Xbox has way better bundles than, than, than the PS4, the Xbox One bundles are way better than the PS4 bundles, ask them if they own an Xbox One first. And when they say yes, because of course they're gonna, even if they don't, they got, they're gonna have to claim that they do. If it's such an awesome console, they gotta own it, right? So they'll say that they do. Then you ask them, what difference does it make to them? How does it change their gaming experience that these bundles are out? It doesn't. It doesn't at all. It's bragging about bundles is a hundred percent only for the sales argument. They brag about bundles because they think it's gonna help them win sales. That's it. PlayStation fanboys at least acknowledge the, the, the sales talk within these console wars. Xbox fans condemn it, but then want to secretly put it in when they want. That's the difference. Let me know what you think in the comment section, and I'll holler back. Peace.